Okay, here we go. Up to date from Windows 3.11 to Windows 95 slash 98 slash Windows Me slash 2000 slash whichever other ones you can think about. That is because, really, they're all the same. There's no difference in how you use them apart from them being able to handle better hardware and being able to have more software compatible with them. So anyway, here's Windows 3.11 in the left corner. So we can see how things are stored into categories. We've got accessories, which you can double click and open, and look at the accessories, and then double click that and open it. Now, so these are categories, okay? And you're probably wondering, okay, how, how do I get these categories thing in Windows 95? Where's this, where's this program manager? Well, you'll notice that Program Manager has kind of been replaced with the Start menu. Now let's show you how that works. You click here on the Start button, and there we go. Programs, Documents, Settings, and all of this other stuff. So, kind of think is this thing, Programs here, is kind of like um, back in Windows 1.0, one of these categories here. So let's go um, back to Windows 95. There we have accessories. So this accessories thing is basically what you see in Windows 90, uh, Windows 3.11. So here we go, accessories. We've got write, paintbrush, terminal, notepad, card file, calendar, calculator clock, object packer, all, all of these things here. Media player, sound recorder. And you'll notice that if we go in here, here they all are again. Notepad, paint, although it was called paintbrush back then. We've even got new ones such as phone dialer. And there's calculator. See, there we go. I've opened calculator. Now let's show you again. Back in Windows 3.11, like that. It's very simple. All that they've done is instead of everything kind of being arranged as icons, it's all been put into one place, easy to access down here. So that's that. Oh, and of course, if you wanted to access games, same old thing. Um, there's games here, and if you want to do it in Windows 95, you've just got to search a little bit more, because there's no big category saying games here, or in here. You've just got to go into accessories, and games is obviously there. You've got even a few more. So there we go. There's Minesweeper in Windows 95, and Minesweeper in Windows 3.11. Now let's um, just quit this little thing here, so we can have a little look at the window shell, how that's changed. Um, no, we don't want to close, I'll just minimise it. Okay, so here is Minesweeper in Windows 3.11, and there we go, Minesweeper in Windows 95. So it looks pretty much the same, we've got game, help, and all of that, but one thing you'll notice differently is, yep, these three buttons here. This button is called the minimize button, this one is called the maximize button, and this is the close button. So the minimize button minimizes it down to this taskbar here. Now the taskbar is not in Windows uh, 3.11, so once it's down to the taskbar we can put it up like that again. And you'll notice it's a very simple, easy to do action. Now if we go to here, the same thing is here, the minimize button, but it's instead of being a little line, it's uh, just a upside down triangle or an arrow pointing downwards. So you can click it and it's minimized. Now as you can see, it's minimized down to where the taskbar is going to be eventually in a newer version of Windows. And I didn't need to open this. Okay, so here we go. Whoopsie. Don't worry about that, that's just a glitch. Okay, so there's Minesweeper minimized. Now you can see the two different ways things were minimized. In Windows 3.11, it minimizes to the desktop as an icon, yet in Windows 95, it minimizes down to the taskbar. Now, with Windows 95, you'll see there are icons here, but these icons do not represent minimized programs. These are just shortcuts. So the desktop in Windows 3.11 was ma mainly shortcuts. Yet in Windows 95, it converted from shortcuts all the way to... Oh, oh, <laughs> sorry about that. In Windows 3.11, it wasn't 
shortcuts, it was just the minimized programs, yet in Windows 95, it is shortcuts. So there we go, my computer is open, and there's your document. So anyway, let's look at some of the other things that have changed in the Windows shell. So um, in Minesweeper here, you'll notice there's no close button, although you can close it like this. So there's close, so we just click close. And if you want to do the same in Windows 95, we just click the X button. Saves us going all the way to close. So as you can see, we have changed from categories like this. So instead of these kind of categories and closing constantly going up there and choosing close, we've changed from that to a start menu. So now that everything is in the start menu, it's easy to access, it's moving the mouse, I don't have to constantly click on everything, I can just move my mouse and easily access any program, click on it to open it, then press X to close it. It's a very simple movement and everything is much more simple and easy in Windows 95. Um, and for maximizing, let me just open something that can be maximized, my computer, to maximize you just press that and that will make it full screen, and you can minimize it again. Now, my computer, I should explain this, my computer is a program you can access all your files on your computer. Unfortunately, it keeps on open them in, opening them in new windows like this. Now, that has been replaced by, uh, this was originally File Manager, so File Manager has been replaced by Windows Explorer. And you can minimize like that, and it goes to the desktop, whoops, and double click it to maximize, you get here. You just minimize it like that, and then it goes to the taskbar instead of the desktop, and we open it again. So that is Windows 95, but now you're probably thinking, okay, I've mastered Windows 95, now I've got another four operating systems to go before the end of this video. Don't be worried at all, look at this. Windows 95, you, you look at Windows 98. Here we go, I'll just switch now. This is Windows 98, and you'll probably think, wait, isn't that just Windows 95? No, this is not Windows 95, and to prove it, open the start menu, Windows 98. So I wasn't lying, this is Windows 98, and you're probably thinking, wow, it's very similar, and truthfully, yes, it is similar. Everything is in categories again, even um, if we open up calculator here, calculator is the same, it's got the same interface, you can minimize stuff with the taskbar maximize it like that and quit it. So everything is exactly the same. You've just the only difference is just a few more programs to have, uh, have another bit of a play around with, such as Welcome to Windows. Okay, so that is another program. Anyway, let's finish up with Windows 98 here and we will going to move down to Windows uh, Windows 2000, which you'll notice is very sim similar. Okay. Okay, so let's change to Windows 2000. And there we go again. You're probably seeing, thinking very, very similar, although it does have a different background, but still it's extremely similar. And as we go, the start menu's gotten just a little bit bigger, but it's the same basic thing. Go to Programs. Then you've got accessories, games, system tools, everything's the same. Um, let's just open Minesweeper. And there we go, you've got the same thing. X um, to close, and then minimize it to the taskbar, and it's minimized. Okay, so everything is exactly the same. There is absolutely no difference, and there we go, X. Even my computer. The difference, though, if you want to know, is... It doesn't open in a new window anymore, so when you actually open stuff, it just opens without constantly opening in a new window. So there we go, you can access all your files like that. So, that's that, and we've only got one more operating system to try out, and that is Windows Me. And once again, it's exactly the same. You can open programs like this, although you will notice that these little things here you can click to just expand your details so Windows Me did add a feature of this expansion, it kind of hid it so it wouldn't be so much space used up so here we go 
everything's exactly the same. Like, um, let's, um, let's, let's, um, open, okay, they did move games here, though. Let's open Minesweeper once again, and you'll notice everything's the same. Minimize, maximize. In fact, it's even a little faster. Okay. So, that's it. You now completely know how to use Windows 95 all the way up to Windows Me. Okay, let's um, just close File Manager, and let's just do one little check. So, as you've learnt, we have completely converted from these little tab things here, and converted instead to a start menu where everything can be accessed categorically from the start menu instead of iconized, well, instead of in an icon kind of format in the program manager. So remember, no more program manager, it is now all up to the start menu. I'll see you next time on Up to Date. Goodbye.